Okay, so I have gotten the red solution. I don't know if you can see that. It's kind of dark in here, but I've got the red solution in the cup. So I hooked up the tube as a sight glass, and as you can see, the liquid is about halfway up the sight glass, indicating that the liquid is at least halfway up the plates. Um, and so now the big moment, I'm going to leave the top off the reservoir so that the hydrogen oxygen will just bubble it through there and out and we'll see what kind of activity we get with this excuse me okay crush your fingers wow wow instantaneously I get a huge amount of flow. Holy mackerel, look at that. Wow! Much more flow than I've ever gotten before. Holy mackerel, it was instantaneous. Wow, 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 that's cool, cool, cool. Okay. So, now I'm gonna screw the lid on, sealing it. Therefore, making the gas come out, the uh, torch, which is right here, and I'm going to put the torch into this bucket, which has soapy water in it, with no bubbles. I'll let it sit overnight, it has no bubbles. So, that means anything that comes out of there is going to be collected in there. This is so cool. Finally, I'm making some hydrogen. Okay, so, I'm going to screw this lid on, and that should... Now the only problem with this, shiest. The only problem with this, with this is I don't have um, a flashback arrestor, so I'm a little nervous to light a torch at this point. All right, so I got the top on here. It should be airtight. It will now send the uh, gas down the tube to the torch, which will bubble into this uh, tank, and then after I get some bubbles. I'll take the lighter and light them and we'll see uh, how much we got. It should be interesting. Okay, so here we go. We're going to do one more time. As you can see, Got some serious bubble action going there now. Wow, that is awesome. All right, so now I'm going to stop it and like the bubbles. Hopefully, I don't blow my hand off in the process. Because part of this, initially, at least initially will be um, air just being forced out of the system. Alright, so now I'm going to take the pan of water, soapy water, take the torch out of it, take the bubbles over here. Probably should put in some hearing protection just in case that it is the hydrogen and oxygen. So I'm going to stop and do that. Because when I just lit a little bit of hydrogen oxygen before, I, um, it was really loud. And so I'm going to be, if this is all hydrogen and oxygen, which I don't think it is, it's going to be super loud. I'm going to light off some stuff here, so don't be surprised when you hear a bang. Okay. All right, well, we had a little bit of a bang. And I think that wasn't major because of the uh, air that had been in the system, which is now out. So I'm going to do this again. Oh, what the hell? 
Oh, I just turned the switch off. Okay. All right. just like 10 seconds of the hydrogen oxygen and that was like <laughs> wow okay so so that means I, I'm, I'm doing it man I'm really doing it and uh, I don't know how to proceed at this point I, I definitely need a flashback arrestor before I proceed any further um, what I plan to do is um, what I plan to do is to hook this up to my furnace, if you will. Not furnace, but where I'm going to melt the material. And uh, I've got some fire brick surrounding a uh, crucible and uh, one, one possibility is to uh, make up a couple of uh, propane torches, homemade propane torches like I've seen King of Random do, and uh, get that working like he does. You know, he uses the, uh, hmm, ceramic cloth, I can't think of the name of it right now, uh, in a bucket with two torches and he's able to heat, melt, aluminum, copper, whatever. And so uh, I want to, when I get back from my trip, I, I'm so geeked about that, finally making some serious stuff. That's so cool. Anyway, uh, I'm going to uh, get that going. I have a ton of aluminum cans that I want to melt down and a really big crucible. Uh, so I want to do that first and get that system working and then what I want to do is I want to plumb this torch Put this torch into that same fire chamber if you will first start the propane going and then plug in the, the cell and put the oxygen hydrogen in there and I'm hoping That because I already have a good fire going that immediately it won't blow up. It'll just amp it up so that the flame, the, the temperature in that chamber goes sky high. And if that works like I want, then I'll be able to uh, put a smaller crucible with the material that I've uh, gotten from the parking lot, filtered down from the parking lot, mixed with flux, melt that down, and then uh, pour that out having a, uh, the lead mixed with the precious metals, then put that in a cupel back into the same chamber, melt that down, uh, getting rid of the lead, then I should just have precious metals, ideally platinum. That's the plan, and uh, so maybe a couple weeks from now I'll do that, but man, that was crazy. I need to rig up a thing to determine how many liters a minute I'm making too, like the guys do. It's not that hard, you just need a Two liter bottle and a, something to submerge it in and marks, you know, to indicate stopwatch. I can do all that, but I just don't want to take the time to do it right now. So that's uh, it for now. The uh, Reckless Retiree signing off, and I'll get back to you in a couple of weeks with the next step.